In this video, I will show you how to use the Beam Analyzer device. First, we'll select our device in the scrolling menu to open it. Then we can click on Start Streaming on the right to stream and see the images taken by the sensor. We have to place the laser projector in front of the beam analyzer and we create a single beam pattern. Then tilt slightly the beam analyzer vertically and horizontally until you can see a part of a 9 spots pattern. We can see there are actually 9 spots. It is normal to not see the full pattern at once on the screens since we only need to focus on one of the four corners. These four corners can be selected here on the spot selection depending on the corner you are focusing. For instance, I will focus this spot on the right. I will select the corner also on the spot selection to indicate the spot we are focusing on the green area called ROI. You can now see the divergence measure FWHM displayed on red, green and blue. The values measured are valid only if the exposure is high enough on the three colors. In our case, for instance, we can see the red is only at 10% on the exposure, so if we want a precise measure, we, it is better to measure it individually. In our case, I will slightly reduce the green and the blue in order to have the red appear with a good exposure level. Here I am in auto exposure, so the software will automatically regulate the exposure so we can see the red properly. So we can see the divergence measure shown here and the total. The software will automatically calculate the alignment of the three colors, but it is also possible to align it directly with the image you see on the sensor. The power measurement works the same way. We can see the power measured on the three colors and the total. Here again, if we want to be accurate, we need to have a high exposure percentage on all colors. So we can measure all colors together, but if we want to be accurate, we can measure the red individually. This way, I can measure the red power accurately, and the actual measure found is 1.68 watts. I can now do the same the green. So we will automatically regulate the exposure. It is normal to not have correct values while the exposure is still changing. And now we can measure the green power. 1.93 watts. Now I can do the same for the blue, just like this. Our exposure is correct and we will measure 2.35 watts. Now we can try to measure all colors at the same time. We can see there is a small difference compared to all colors individually, but it is still accurate even if the red is at 10% only. Last thing I wanted to show you. Here are the buttons calibrate for the different wavelengths. For instance, if I want to calibrate correctly my 635 nanometers, I will start projecting the red only. I will select the ROI so it corrects the exposure. And I click on calibrate. So here it explains to project a red beam to avoid vibrations and the exposure level should be around 18-90% so the calibration is correct. That's our case here. The ROI should be placed to contain the entire spot. And I click on OK. The calibration is now done and my red is correctly calibrated. I hope you liked this video and that it helped to better understand how to use the beam analyzer. Thank you.